Hey, this is Fernando coming to you from uh, beautiful Melbourne, Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. And you may be wondering why is it so dark? Well, it's 6.30 in the morning. I've just uh, finished my morning ritual and uh, I was inspired. I was uh, meditating on a few different things and I just felt uh, compelled to share this with you right now. Uh, so I thought I'm going to get on and I'm going to share this message and I hope that you see the value for yourself, for your life and for your business. And uh, so today I've been thinking about fear and how fear is such a destructive emotion um, for us in life and in business. But if we take a moment to think about it, the ritual, there is a ritual that we follow around fear. And if we do a simple reframe on that ritual, we can act we actually confirm to ourselves that we have what it takes to succeed. So hear me out on this, right? When you think about fear, so what happens? I actually, I've been reading the Miracle of Mind Dynamics, which I've spoken about before. And I was reading the story of a gentleman who was diagnosed with cancer of the skin. And uh, he decided that because he understood how the faculties of his mind works, he understood that the cancer is simply a physical manifestation of something that's going on internally. So he started to affirm that that was the termination of the cancer as he affirmed God's power and life within him and uh, started to change his mental patterns, right? But what happens with us in life and in business is because we are conditioned to process life through our physical senses, our, our objective world, which is the world that we see with our eyes, that we hear and all that, we tend to react to that because that's all we know. We react to that world. So if you're trying to grow your business and you're not attracting prospects, you start to feel um, afraid. I'm not going to grow my business. I'm not going to get the things that I want. If you don't have enough income coming into your household, you start to get scared. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to keep the creditors off my back? And so what happens is fear, this fear uh, creeps in because of what we're seeing with our natural eyes. And so we have this ritual where we look at a result, it causes that, it stirs up that emotion, that strong destructive emotion called fear. And of course what happens is we start to get emotionally, like really emotionally connected with, with that fear. And of course we can only continue to produce more of the same. So what happens is our objective world is not, is not a cause, it's actually an effect of our internal patterns. So we're going to manifest exactly what we are thinking, which is, or feeling, more so than thinking, feeling, which is that fear. But if we have the awareness that it's the same process to achieve whatever we want, then rather than think about fear, we can choose to fall in love with an idea. So rather than, like this gentleman here that was had cancer, he started to affirm health in his body. He started to imagine the doctor saying to him, oh man, this is a miracle, you are, you are now cancer free. And if you read the book, The Miracle of Mind Dynamics, you see that actually a, a short while later, he was uh, diagnosed as being completely free from his condition, from cancer so of the skin. So it's no different for you in your business and in your life even, right? If you st if, rather than focusing on what you're seeing, just think about what it is that you actually want. Start to live, and I've spoken about this a lot now, but I just can't stress enough because I work with so many people in this industry and it's the lack of awareness more than anything else that's going to stop you from achieving your goals. Uh, because you have infinite potential, because you are one with the, uh, with the universal power that created you. We're, we're one source. We come from one place. It's all the same. You have everything inside of you to manifest greatness, to, to live a legacy, to make impact, to serve, to touch lives. You have all of that within you. But what we're not doing is we're not using it to our advantage. Okay? Because, not because you don't want to, but perhaps because you don't know how to. So my invitation for you is to start living your life from the inside out. Live your life from your higher faculties, from your imagination. Imagination is such a powerful force in your life that if you allowed yourself five minutes a day to imagine the life that you desire, right? You are summoning, like you are summoning the forces of the universe to go and work for you for this day. 
to go out and attract to you everything that you want, everything that you need. And, and, and make a commitment to shut your eyes. Don't look at things with your eyes. And if you do see things that you don't want manifested in your life, then make a commitment not to give that any emotion. Instead, remind yourself that there is a bigger purpose that you're living for. Uh, there's a bigger purpose for you uh, that you're trying to achieve, uh, that you want to serve for. And allow, and allow that emotion to be the emotion that drives you, right? That's the emotion you want to focus on. Use your imagination. Say, you, when, you feel, when you look at something you don't want, you feel afraid. And what happens is your, ima your imagination runs wild and, and basically just runs this movie about how things are going to end, end up, turn out, which is the negative way. Right? So you are actually using exactly the same process. The only difference is you're doing it with fear. So replace the fear with love. Okay? What if instead of fear, you chose love as the emotion and then allowed your imagination to run wild with your emotion of love manifesting the good that you want? Think about how powerful that would be. And now you're living uh, with purpose. Now you are deliberately, um, you're deliberately manufacturing the life that you actually want to see manifested in your outside world. That's the effect. The course starts in here. And as you continue to give that emotion to that idea, you are impressing it upon the subconscious part of you, which is the emotional mind, which is the universal mind, which is the mind that once it has an idea locked in, it can't do anything but actually cause you to take action consistent with that. People say, how do I know? How do I know um, that, an, that uh, an idea is, is working? How do I know that something that I'm imagining, like how do I know what steps to take? How do I know that it, I'm actually impressing it and what to do next? Well, what happens is that something will come to you, an idea will come to you, um, that will compel you to take a strong action. And so as you feel that action, as you feel that, that, um, that, um, that thought, as you feel that compulsion to go and do this, and you take that action, you know you're going to be backed up by universal intelligence to attract to you because it came out of that place that you, manu that you manufacture, starting with, uh, with your mental thought. Okay? So I just want you to reflect. Every time you feel fear about something, it might be about a specific part of your business. It may be you know, doing Facebook Live. It might be speaking to a prospect. It may be, I don't know, reaching out to someone or it may be putting a system in place. It doesn't really matter what it is. But just think about when you feel afraid, the ritual that you follow. And just notice how much energy, because what happens is like, I remember my father as a child used to say to me, don't allow your thoughts, uh, don't give any reins to your thoughts. Like, you know, with the horse reins, don't give any reins to your thoughts. You've got to rein your thoughts in. Don't let them go wild, because once they take off, and that's okay. But if we're using imagination for positive, you want them to run wild, because the, the, <laughs> the wilder they are, the better. And the more you get lost in that, in that image, then the more powerful it's going to be for you. You are one with God. Uh, you are one with universal intelligence. You are one with the creative force. This is what is locked inside of you. All right? Let's not cheat ourselves by living our life from the outside in, but start to really get aware of what is this power that you have today. Fall in love with what you want and allow this power to work with you and for you, not against you to manifest everything that you want. It's starting to get a little bit lighter now, so you start to see there. But I just felt compelled to get up, get out. As you can see, I'm, I'm outside. Um, I was up at 5 o'clock this morning uh, just doing my stuff. And, uh, and I just wanted to really share this message with you because I know how many people are struggling in their business to achieve results. I know that it's not because lack of desire, but it may just be lack of awareness. And if you can just take this one idea today and put it into place, um, then that's going to make all the difference. Now, to add to that, to add to that, when you start to visualize your goals, I've been thinking about this a lot actually lately as well. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday who, who you know, we talk about these things and, and how to use this power to help us achieve the things that we want in life. Because really, I'm no different to you. I have goals, I have things, I have fears, right, that I'm trying to overcome in my life every day. You know, we just work at different levels. Um, and one thing that I've been thinking about lately is that sometimes we set too many goals, right? It's like we want to achieve four or five different things. But I also am convinced that there is one goal, one goal that is a catalyst 
for every other goal to be achieved, right? So for example, you might want to achieve X amount of people in your team. If you're growing a network marketing business, you might want to have, you want to achieve a certain rank. You may want to achieve a certain um, status of health. You may want to lose some weight, right? Now let's say that weight is the issue. And I know for me, weight is something that I have, you know, struggled with, if I'm honest, over a long time. And I know that in, in achieving the one thing, like for me, achieving the weight goal, a specific weight goal, a specific health goal, right, is a catalyst for a lot of the other areas of my life. Because if you think about the impact that that one area of your life has on you and how it affects you emotionally, and then how it affects the actions that you take in other areas, you know that achieving that one goal is going to just, it'll be like a domino effect. You hit that one goal and everything else falls into place. So I want to invite you also right now today to think about out of, out of the four or five goals that you may have set for your business, for your life over the next 12 months, what is one goal? What is one goal that you know in your heart of hearts that if you hit that, it's going to be a catalyst for achieving the other goals in your business and your life? And I would invite you to every day, for 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, visualize, use that, use that creative force, that, that higher faculty called imagination, to see yourself as already achieving that goal. And, and create a statement saying that, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am now, and then say what you're doing, right? what you're achieving, as if it's happening right now, today. Because your subconscious doesn't know the difference, and it will then start to attract what you need to manifest that. And just see what happens as you focus on the one goal and see how that's going to just become the domino effect for everything else that you may want to achieve in your business over the next 6 to 12 months. And I want to invite you to comment below what is that one goal. And then have me and everyone else in the community believe with you and support you in, in adding energy because the more energy we add to this, right, to your goal, then the better the chances of you manifesting that as you get emotionally connected with it. So there's the message for today. I hope you found value in that. If you did find value, I want to invite you to comment and share. Um, obviously, give us a like. Ingrid, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, when, what are you saying here? When I get too analytical, I don't do it. Visualization is uh, daydreaming with a purpose. Beautiful. Yeah, very well said. Absolutely. Uh, and visualization is a gift, right, that we all have, um, that we don't use enough, I don't believe. So thank you for sharing that. And uh, I hope you have a, a beautiful rest of your day. I know that it's afternoon in the other side of the world. As you can see, it's still very early here. But uh, I'm just uh, compelled, compelled to make a difference in your life, uh, to serve you and to help you achieve everything that you want because you deserve greatness because you are greatness and uh, the more that you allow that to come out the more people that we, you and I are going to touch in this world and impact and help live a better life and then achieve our, our life's purpose and fulfillment all right so stay blessed enjoy the rest of your afternoon and we'll talk real soon okay bye for now